What's up guys? My name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic. And uh, I'm super excited today because I've started working on a persistent sort of file. Um, I know I had that with the cans, cars, and then I added in that uh, that office building with the elevator. And the circuitry in that elevator really didn't work. Um, but I was just playing around with some ideas, and uh, one of the big things I noticed is traffic lights. It would be really nice to have traffic lights in town. And so I decided, you know what, I, I should really build a traffic light circuit. Um, and there's there's really there's an easy way to do this and there's a hard way and when it comes to actually putting traffic lights in a town I would say do it the easy way because the benefits of the hard way are really not worth the amount of time you have to spend I haven't really thought of a graceful way to actually make the lights themselves I just wanted to kind of prove the circuit uh, you could obviously add a yellow in that intermediate stage there There's actually room in the circuit to add a yellow light it wouldn't be a problem um, But anyways, basically that's your your simple circuit. I mean, they'll just continue to time and if you were to build just that, it would look exactly like this. So this is sort of a cutaway of the traffic light. And you can see, so there's really simple, there's just two bearings stacked on top of each other. They hide in this sort of cupped area back here. Um, and the controller, as you can see, has a 90 degree on the one light. And then after three blank stages, and then a negative 90, and a 90 degree on the second light, then three blank stages, and another negative 90. So the, each light has the same amount of time, same amount of time spent in green and red. And if I wanted to, of course, you have to activate the loop on the controller here. But if I wanted to uh, to slow down or speed up the time, I would just have to play with this bar here. And so I have it set relatively fast for the purposes of a demo. But obviously, if you were doing this in a town, you'd probably set it to super slow. And you'll see we'll be waiting here for a while for the light to change. I really don't want to wait. Oh, there it goes. So you can see, again, the controller will move slower, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you're more concerned with the actual timing itself. So what does all this do? This lovely circuit here. So if you've seen the elevator video I did a while ago, about a month ago, um, I made a binary circuit. And I've done a few binary circuits already in this game. And it's really cool because it's, it's kind of like if you've ever done circuits in Minecraft, it's very similar. Um, you can do a lot of the same things. Actually, you can do pretty much all the same things. And you can make circuits that actually have some sort of logic to them and will think. And so there's four sensors you can see here in the road, plus there's all the crosswalk buttons. So what that means is, let's say I'm at this red light, if I go onto this sensor, it's now going to prioritize me, and it's going to switch the light to green, as it just did. And then it's going to resume the normal timings that it does. So it prioritized me so I don't have to wait at the light. So, this light's red, walk onto the sensor, or in this case you drive your car onto the sensor, the light switches itself to green, lets me go through, and now if I turn around, you'll see it's resuming its normal timing. It's going to keep that light green until, uh, until the timing hits the right point. There's the timing, and now the light changes to red, and we can continue to the normal daily routine. My buddy Sadwings built these um, cars. They were quite good. Well, one of, them's, one of them's pretty good, I think. It looks kind of like a Hummer. Needs some rounded blocks maybe to smooth it out, but it looks pretty good. Um, this other one was just sort of a test vehicle. Just changed to red, so I should have like a 10 second delay, you would think. But I'm just going to drive onto the sensor there. And then you're going to see it's going to prioritize me on the light. And now the light's green and I can continue to walk and drive through. Same sense, if you hit the crosswalk button, it's actually the exact same circuit. Um, the crosswalk buttons and the sensors are all just tied into the same set of controllers. So... How the logic itself works is actually really, really simple, kind of. So the first thing is these memory bits. I've, I've shown these before. Uh, again, it's this self-perpetuating sensor. So when the memory bit is closed, this sensor activates one of the controllers here, plus whatever else you need that bit to activate. Um, and this, and so in this case, this memory bit activates controller, which activates this block, which causes it to stay in contact until you swing this arm out with some other input. There you can see it just reset the bit. Um, what these do, this one here means this bit is for green across these two streets. So when this bit's set, those streets will be green and those will be, this one will be red. And this bit is the opposite. I could go through all the details of how this circuit works. Uh, the simplest thing to say is this set of sensors here, this four ring, this is actually the timing circuit. So with this controller here, this is the loop controller for the timings. And you can see it's evenly set between 90 and 90 and 90 and 90 because it constantly just rotates around in one direction and it'll go forever. Um, when you actually reload the map, which I will show after this, it's actually hilarious. You reload the map and the entire thing has to unwind through all the circuits it winds through. But you can see, so this circuit, it goes, there's also three bearings here. Um, the reason why is these other two 
these other two bearings are the priority bearings. So the one bearing is the timing bearing. It'll always spin at 360 degrees. It just keeps going forever. When it passes one of these middle sensors, it resets the lights to all be neutral. And then the top sensor resets, sets the one set of lights and the bottom sensor sets the other. The timing bearings, when you activate the timing, you activate one of these two bits, which says I want priority on this street or this street, really simple. And those bits then in turn speed up this until that condition is satisfied. So there's a bunch of AND gates and OR gates here, which are basically checking that if I press this button, I'm gonna set that bit, which says I want priority on this street. And until priority is met, it will continue to spin that rotation in 180 degree increments. You don't have to hold the button very long. You only really have to hold the button until it sets that bit, but I usually just hold it and it, there's no harm. So it is a really, um, it's a very daunting looking circuit, but it's actually not very complicated. You can see these are just some OR gates. Uh, this is an AND gate here. We've got another OR gate there, OR gate here, an OR gate here. And these OR gates really are just for all the crosswalk buttons you can see. They're just the inputs for it. Um, another OR gate here. And if you guys want me to sometime, uh, let me know. I will. I could go through a tutorial on how I built all this. I'd have to draw the logic diagram really to illustrate it. Um, but if you do want that, let me know. I could actually put up maybe a Google document. There is one glitch. And uh, the one glitch is quite funny. I really, really like it. And what happens when you have priority on a street and you don't drive? So I'm going to take this Hummer here and I'm gonna stand on top of this sensor. So I have a green light. Now you would expect me to drive, but if I go to this light, now it's gonna change me to green, but as soon as this light changes to green, it's gonna say, wait a minute, I need this light to be green. So it will literally alternate back and forth over and over again until one of the trucks gets off the sensors. Um, this happened by complete accident. It's just the, the way the circuit was designed. It will always repeat this pattern. Now, I didn't really think this was much of a problem. And the reason why is because if I'm in this truck and my light turns green or it's a red and I run it, you're going to expect I'm going to drive off the sensor. I'll show you what happens when you reload the world. This is actually quite funny. So I'm loading up the world now. Um, and here it goes. There goes the timing circuit, resetting every single movement that's happened to date so far. And the lights are just going to kind of change a bit. Don't worry if this happens. If you want to see this world, I'll gladly upload it. Just let me know in the comments down below. Um, but if this happens, it's really not a big deal. It's uh, You just kind of let wait. And again, it might be like, you might be like, oh, and it's stopping. And once this bar stops moving, that's when it stabilized itself. So. Again, I don't know why it does that. The game seems to have a need to put it back to the zero position when you load a new world. It won't resume from whatever position it is. Because technically speaking, that thing's constantly rotating. So it's getting up to like three, four, five thousand degrees off of where it was. Um, um, I might do red, green, and, or red, yellow, and green. Um, I don't really know how to build that yet. I like this assembly because it's kind of small. Um, but I'll definitely be making traffic lights like this. And there's, there's nothing really difficult about this. It's just a lot easier to do. Uh, your traffic lights are on a fixed timer. You only need one controller to control an entire intersection and like eight bearings. So it's really, really simple. Um, this is, although very, very cool, you'd have to hide this in a building somewhere and you'd have to build it every single intersection. And as cool as it is, there's just, it's so many controllers you have to set and reset. And it's just, it's such a pain. I know I've been a little bit slow on the viewer requests. I am working on them. I would like to, I'm going to try, try and take a little bit of a break from some big builds um, after doing the Rube Goldberg. I'm going to try and do some of the viewer requests you guys have been asking for. I do have them all written down. I haven't forgotten, I promise. And I also have a few viewer submissions. So I'd like to get all the viewer submissions and requests and some of those done. So that's what I'm currently working on, guys. Um, I hope you stick around for all that stuff. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. I really like that. That really, really makes me feel good. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. That's always great too. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate all you guys who come in and watch my videos. Uh, it makes me feel so good to know that you guys actually like what I do because I really like doing it. So remember, hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you had a good time and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>